Right, here you go. Hello, my name is Tim Shaw, and I'm going to give you the uh, 360 degree tour of Gorilla Classics in under two minutes, if I possibly can. Working our way in uh, through the reception, and where is uh, Mr. Engine himself, Don? Afternoon, Tim. What are you doing? Surprised, not, surprised to see you with something in your hand related to engines? Not. As usual. This man is not into women. He doesn't care about anything other than engines. This is his office. This is his bedroom <laughs> and the lock. Look, that is a small block. Small block. Uh, Ford. Ford, yes. Uh, which belongs to you, Mr. Shaw. That's a 302, isn't it? It certainly is. Okay, beast of an engine going in the Mustang. I'll show you that in a minute because we are rebuilding a Mustang here to use on car SOS. But in the meantime, there's something far sexier. Don, talk me through that, which looks like... 1961 Jaguar 3.8 Jaguar right. well spotted there Tim yeah very early engine not the easiest ones to build but as you can see we quite like doing these sort of stuff gorgeous so, uh, now your there. background you were a Mercedes instructor you went over you were drafted in by the Yanks to go over to the States and teach them how to rebuild Mercedes engines something like that pretty much it was to do with the commercial side of life right. um, we were drafted over on the west coast for six years yeah. to uh, Introduce the Americans the, uh, to the Mercedes way and, and Jaguars uh, and all the other, the whole lot. Yes, right. It, so yeah. you've rebuilt thousands and thousands of engines. It's getting on that way. Could yeah. you do that engine genuinely with your eyes shut? Maybe, maybe one eye shut. Do you think you could? I think so. Really? You know, <laughs> you know them that well. Yeah. Right. Come on, Don. Give us a tour of this place. All yeah. right. So let's have a look around. So this is the engine room. Yeah. Nothing but engines in this room. So this is the office. Nothing but office, office. stuff in the office room. Right. Let's go to the workshop. Uh, that there in the background is the man we call number five. <laughs> I'll explain that at some other later day. Number five, give us a wave. Oh yes, there it is, right. What have we got in at the moment? So we have a TR3 in here, Don. Yeah, TR3A, 1961 vintage, one of the last, we believe. Beautiful car, actually. That is a sweet looking car. Show can... a bit of the interior though, Tim. It's Aston Villa colours. We aren't, we aren't too sure about that. We're not but... football boys here, really, are we? But on the ramps here, on the two poster, it's getting a bit dark in here, but it's night time and these people are still working. We have an E-Type with, look at that, that is a gorgeous stainless steel manifold if ever I've seen one. Let me just put a light on, Tim. All right, I'm going to stick a light on so you can see this car. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about, look at that. So this is a total rebuild. This yes. is the works. Yes, the owner started it himself, but he works an awful lot in Russia and the Ukraine, so yeah. he ran out of time, so yeah, we're fixing it for Brought him. Brought it into Gorillas. Yeah. And it's getting done, look at this. Now that is a car I wish I owned. That's going to be a hundred grand car and the rest when it's done. I can't even see what's happening on the inside. So also up here we have a little MGB, you've got a little uh, Cortina. Actually, the Cortina is an interesting car. Yes, I think so, mate. Now this is Don's very own toy, so we could talk to you about this for about half an hour, but I'm going to give him 10 seconds. Uh, 1962 Cortina, we're going to drag race. Uh, four litre Rover V8, somewhere around the 400 horsepower, it should be fun. Absolutely. This is the dummy engine, the real one's on the stand there, Tim. Yes, real. Oh, there it, is. there it is. That's the new one. There are engines all over the place. Now, this is the engine stuff being dealt with, but there's a body shop as well. And if you come next door, we'll show you one of the rooms, excluding the booth, because it's being sprayed in at the moment. We threw past some of the lathes and stuff. Whose is that? Uh, that's one of ours, mate. Can I have it? I really could do with an old boxer. That's an old boxer, isn't it? It certainly is. From your part it? of the world. Yeah, that's right. Believe. Sheffield. Yes. yes. Right then, through to where some of the bodywork is happening through here. A couple of old jags and what have you. And I'll show you a car which you will be seeing on Car SOS or Car Sausage, as we, as we call it. And there it is. A 1965, beautiful, gorgeous V8 notchback which was imported from the States and has had a lot of work done to it. Unfortunately, it's pretty dark here, but Rich, our body guy, has done a lot of car SOS cars. He's the best of the best. And he has done, um, well, inner wings, front new panel, new floor pans, the whole car needs skimming because it had had an accident. But it is a gorgeous car. But actually, there is some news, a reason to watch the next, well, the next little video from it's Gorilla cool. Classics. What's it's happening? Cool. Installment, yeah. Don, what's the news? We've been told um, there's a 65 Fastback coming. Yeah. Now, that's a rarity on its own. Even right. in the not United States, it's a rarity. So watch this space, Mr. Shaw. All right, then. Ciao you later.